morning. I'm just having my tea. Thought I would share a little bit about sort of some best practices when you are tweeting, which will also translate into how to make your blog post a little more shareable. Now, this advice also applies to sharing on Facebook and LinkedIn. So let's dig in, right? So what makes you want to share something? Hopefully it's wow, I really like this sentence or what this person is saying has meaning to me, right? So how do you translate that, right? How do you translate that? um, And how do you share something with meaning more than just throwing an RSS feed into your buffer account or automated stuff or you know, just sharing the headline. I mean, the headline headlines usually get people to click, but they're not always the best part. All right. Hopefully my computer will not install 10.15.4 right now and restart my situation. Okay. Let's go. I'm I'm not going to pick anybody out that's doing it wrong. Okay. So I'm going to pick a couple different blogs that I think are, are good. Let's start with copy blogger. So here's an article by Daryl Vesterfelt, a partner at copy blogger and co-founder of good people digital. Now the headline is overcome this marketing mistake that makes you want to quit this common marketing mistake that makes you want to quit. They always do these featured images with a lot of text. That's kind of their brand thing. Um, as an aside, if you do ever decide to boost a post on Facebook, which they don't use anymore, um, this will be too much text. Um, but that's another, so as a, you know, as a coach consultant, I see a lot of businesses struggling. Now I could just click tweet. I don't, I mean, they have a thing, share this content, blah, 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 long link via blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's a little lazy, but it works. And I'll tweet it just to show you what it looks like. But um, what I like to do is kind of read it, you know? <laughs> do I even like this article? Yeah, of course, a lot of things copy blogger writes are very good. and But it doesn't mean that you agree with it or that brand you're tweeting for agrees with it or that it needs to be shared. Not everything you read needs to be shared. Okay, so um, let me just read this really quick. Brands intimately connected to their ideal customer are the ones who see extreme growth. That's interesting. What's an ideal customer? They have a problem, they're aware of the problem, and they have the means and desire, desire to solve the problem. So if I shared this, it wouldn't make any sense because it doesn't have the context, right? Without awareness of the problem, the customer won't know they need your offer. Without a problem, you have nothing to offer. Without the means, so how do I identify my ideal customer? Understanding the three ideal customer factors take you a long way, but it's also important to create an ideal customer image or avatar. Um, and then he's kind of already has a disclaimer or an apologetic language. Um, this is where I lose so many people, blah, 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 da, 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 da. super important. Please keep reading. Like for me, I would have left that out. Um, because I don't apologetic copy is like, Oh, you know, if this is where you lose people, then why should I keep reading? But that's an aside. I asked my clients why they started their business. So da, 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 da. He created his own blah, blah, blah. I'm going to read this all out loud and I'm not doing subtitles. The fear of committing to an ideal customer image. If I commit to this customer image, I'll limit the people I can serve. I might commit to the wrong image. Committing to an ideal customer image is just a trick you need to play in your mind to help you create the best type of content. I love this because here's the thing. This is exactly right. Um, and, and, and I like that he's not using persona 
which uh, scares a lot of people. Okay, so so now I'm like, okay, and now he's talking about empathy. I'm already in. I'm gonna share this. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this uh, command C or Control C. I'm gonna go to my Twitter. I'm gonna put quote marks in there. Go like that. And now, who is this guy, right? Who's Daryl uh, Wester? Bester felt so I clicked here and I got to his website okay now hello my name is blah 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 okay so I'm going down it, oh it's not going to show you on this little screen thing but I went down to the way bottom and found his Twitter dvest so I like this guy I'm gonna I'm gonna follow him and add him to the list right he's a writer uh, I'll put him in marketing too Market. I hate how Twitter alphabetizes these on mobile but not on desktop. Ball this guy. So here's his Twitter handle. I'm going to copy that and go throw it in here. And now it's via copy blogger. And then I'm going to call it personas and marketing for hashtags. Then I'm gonna notice I'm putting the hashtags at the end and I'm not hashtagging all these words. It's really difficult for people to see that. And then I'm gonna go over here and this is my favorite tool, the Bitly Chrome extension. I'm gonna shorten this link. As you shorten links, they look better for one thing and uh, number two, it makes it so people can highlight and, sh and retweet the old school way. So here's my tweet. Now that image comes up because they have their Twitter card set up, large summary with image, and their meta description. So I don't really need to tweet out overcome this common marketing mistake that makes you want to quit because that's here. It's, you know, you're wasting your real estate of where you're sharing this, right? So, um, the way I tweeted it before from their link was just overcome this column and it's all like, you know, it's long and it's dot, 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 right? So if I decided to copy this and this is why I don't, retweet people this way and tweet it out guess what happens you know it just sometimes it it takes it over sometimes it doesn't in Hootsuite it doesn't um, unfold the link so that makes it very difficult for other people now let's talk about sharing something on LinkedIn which is another place for my business to business people to go to so one of my favorite people to to read is Seth Godin. Um, he is, you know, old school marketing guy, super smart, really talented, really talented person. So his blog um, is short. It's super consumable, right? And he knows how to use Twitter. He's been using Twitter, so he does this thing where a lot of his writing is tweetable, right? Old-fashioned monopolies rely on some sort of coercion. I mean, that's enough, easy to tweet, right? Maybe you need to bribe the FCC, da 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 da. Now, he has a thing here that allows you to tweet from highlighting it, if you highlight and then click it. Um, but again, it doesn't use the quotes, it does uh, shorten it. It's a WordPress site and it does use his name. But this isn't the way I like to do it because it still doesn't look right and I want to do this on LinkedIn anyway. So on LinkedIn you can use longer quotes, right? So um, when we see that a monopoly is driven by network effects, it's easy to be conflicted. After all, network effects create real value. If there's 10 phone systems in 1962, calling someone else would have been impossible. So when it needed to happen, AT&T was a dream come true, right? But what's missing from this analysis is that 
Inoperability is more possible than ever. Companies that provide a conduit to the network can compete with one another fairly if one of them, if none of them are the network. So the net networks, whenever possible, should be peer-to-peer, -peer, autonomous, and for profit. The network that delivered you this blog post is all three. So, um, Ooh, I love this. This paragraph is what I'm sharing. Okay, so I'm going to copy it. I'm not going to do it the way he wants to do it. Now on LinkedIn, they kind of like longer links. Um, it it doesn't always like the bit link, so that's why I'm sh showing a couple things. If the preview doesn't show up, and again, there's the title. If the preview doesn't show up, then just press return. So one of the things is a lot of these people are people that we follow and you can sometimes at them. So let's see if Seth Godin shows up. Yeah, I'm connected to him third. So, and he allows people to tag him. So then I'm gonna post that. I don't use hashtags on LinkedIn. Now it only shows the three right there, right? But, um, everybody knows or if you don't you just click okay now one of the advantages of doing it this way is that I'm mentioning Seth Godin right and I'm not connected to him he's third he may see this which is fine whatever but more importantly when you scroll in LinkedIn see Magento and Adobe company I'm following them but it's telling me that Christoph Ringriff Martin Henning and 15 other connections follow this. Um, sometimes it'll show you that so-and-so was mentioned in the news and because they were tagged, it will deliver to people who are following or connected to them. So here's the thing. I'm not connected to Ron Faber Newman and I don't follow Fabulous Creations, but my friend Michelle Wise commented on this so it's delivering it to me so because of that I have an opportunity to um, type on this and connect so the thing is that strategically sharing the best bit of what you read not only shows the author what spoke to you the most but it gives your audience a reason to read it the headline alone isn't enough reason for me to read anything um, especially now there's so much going on there's so much news to consume you really need to kind of do that hospitality online with how you share things and so when you're writing for your own website and your own blog are you making it easy for people to share are you are your sentences concise um don't be afraid to make sentences that are complete in a thought and are easily shareable whether it's a tweet on facebook or linkedin and that was a really long video i'm not subtitling this i'm really really sorry it's just gonna take too long but um, that's my tip for today, and I hope that you enjoy these tutorials. If you have any questions or have suggestions for anything else, feel free to message me privately on Twitter, LinkedIn, or leave comments at the end of this video. Thanks again. I really appreciate you. Bye.